Now that Major League Baseball is in its first work stoppage since 1994, here's what we can expect. First of all, we cannot expect any player movement. Obviously, no free agents will be able to sign. There can be no trades, roster moves. Anything that a team would do to construct its roster going into next season is completely on hold. Locally, the Mets will be looking for a manager, and that can continue during a work stoppage since it has nothing to do with the Players Association, but overall, the industry does go on pause. Now, everything you hear over the past couple months leading up to this is that even though a lockout was essentially inevitable, nobody seems to be expecting a major extended labor war, and most people involved do tend to think that this will be okay by opening day and that regular season games will not be at risk. But I would just caution that there is genuine antipathy between the Players Association and the owners. And once they get arguing, and once they get negotiating, uh, these things do have an ability to get uglier than expected. If you want proof of that, look no further uh, than the summer of 2020, when we were in the beginning phases of the pandemic. Baseball had a chance to come back earlier than it did, but the players and the owners could not agree on the finances of that and ended up really in what was a bad look for everybody, uh, a little mini labor war in the middle of much worse problems for our country. This is a different context right now, uh, but still, these are the same negotiators on both sides, the same issues, and a potential at least to go longer and drag out more than we all hope.